Прикройте меня! Well then, I guess that's enough of that. Remember when I said this in the quarantine for dead video? Go fuck yourself. That is not even the same video. What is wrong? No, the other video. I I'm, I'm genuinely blown away at this point and going off script here because I think this map has some of the best potential to be turned into a total conversion, which I just might do. Yeah. That one. Yeah, that's finally here. Took me long enough. Chernobyl Chapter 1 is easily one of the most expansive and unique episodic campaigns on the Steam Workshop right now. It looks great, plays better, and is one of the only campaign add-ons that has truly surprised me with its level of detail and innovative design. All that said, I've dedicated my time to fashioning an entire playlist of add-ons to pair with and enhance your experience as you mow down what's left of the population of Pripyat. Putin would be proud. The first things I focused on were the aesthetics, or the cosmetics, or what the shit looked like. I don't fucking know, man. Given that Chernobyl is a vapid, dilapidated mess, I felt like the best course of action was to match that as best as possible by changing each of the items and models to match that vibe. I started off with the characters and went for the aftermath skins for each one of them. These skins give each of the characters a much more grizzled appearance that pairs well with the dirty walls and ruined buildings of Chernobyl. Frankly, they look kind of like they've seen some shit, and I like that a lot. The only character that had to be done separately was Coach, because for whatever reason, they're just isn't an aftermath skin for him. Instead, I opted to go for this detective skin. The headcanon here was that Coach was an Ada Wong type, you know, agent sent to look over the other survivors. It, I mean, it seemed a it seemed like a fair assessment considering it's Russia we're talking about here. If I wind up dead, it's definitely the Russian jokes that did me in. Look for my body at the nearest Kalahari resort. Once I had the characters unlocked, I moved on to weapons and items. The first real hurdle that I had to get over at this point was dealing with models that were ported from other games. In most cases, a lot of mods available for guns, med kits, and the like are ports of models from other games. This meant that I had to work around most of those items and find the bits and pieces that would work in the context of this map. While some models in this mod pack are from other titles, like the Payday 2 med kit, these models were selected specifically from batches of ports that would actually work. Unlike me on videos, obviously. The guns were the absolutely most important thing here. If you don't already know, the guns in Left 4 Dead work on a sort of tiered list system. For each type of gun, there's a list of weapons that fall into it, and these guns are ranked from best to worst, damn near arbitrarily. For example, the AK would be in the assault rifle class at the bottom of the list because it's the least rare and, to some extent, the weakest of the class based on ammo count and damage. On the flip side of that same list is the desert rifle, which is the most rare and often considered to be the best of the rifles. I am definitely overcomplicating this. Fuck. Basically, I chose mods that fit in line with the idea behind that list. Lower tier weapons, like the Uzi variants, are depicted with more World War II surplus style skins, while the higher tiers of weapons got nicer looking modern designs applied to them. I felt like this made the more advanced weapons stand out as something more special, at least to a much greater degree than the other weapons. The fact that these specific items are so distinct makes them more interesting finds out in the wastes of Chernobyl. Finally, I went for changing the zombies. Kind of. The common infected you run into throughout the game saw no visual change because instead I installed this gore mod to make the models fall apart in glorious bits of gore. The idea was to make the common infected more satisfying to kill, and seeing the damage you're dealing to these enemies in a more tangible way gives a much better feedback level for just how deadly your crew is at that moment. Because this mod changed the hitboxes and dynamics of the common infected so much, I kept their vanilla style intact to prevent a custom skin from conflicting with the mod. The special infected did get a facelift though. I went to the workshop and pulled out some of the most dilapidated, rotted chunks of former human I could find and shoved them into the game. The idea was to create special infected that looked way more stripped of their human features. They looked more destroyed, mutated, and downright monsters in some cases, and they fit perfectly into that mutated setting that is Chernobyl. That said, they won't appear frequently in certain gameplay configurations, so their appearances being much more noticeably vile makes encounters with them something to fear. Speaking of gameplay, 
I don't know why I use transitions like this. They aren't good. I figured that there could be three acceptable ways to play this map when I set out to assemble this collection. Considering that you can play more than one at once, the three options would be one, vanilla style with special infected all included, two, hard mode with headshots only and slow zombos, or three, slow super hordes. I wanted to emphasize that this campaign should be played in some way that makes it notably difficult. If you were to play this in a vanilla format, this would come from the map's natural design in conjunction with encounters with the special infected and natural supply fatigue that you would have to deal with as you play meaning running out of ammo or suffering through combat with weaker weapons. To shift the source of difficulty a bit, my gameplay conversions focused on making the standard common infected more dangerous and simultaneously more thematically analogous to the style of the map. Both gameplay modes I chose to fit this campaign were created by a workshop creator named BlackCat12951, and without them this would just be a standard mod collection. These gameplay modes are script mods that change the way enemies of all types function, including their spawn rates, speed, and damage. By changing these details, the common infected transitioned from basic cannon fodder to an actual challenge that requires some skill to overcome. Skill or a fuck ton of ammunition. The first choice of the two mods is what I call the gunslinger option. I don't call it that, I literally just made that up. This option gives the player buffed pistols, that is to say way more damage and max ammo capacity, while putting them up against a massive horde of somewhere between 150 to 40 zombies at a time without the special infected there to break the apocalyptic immersion. The sheer mass of zombies makes for countless close calls if you aren't prepared to weather the storm. And with maps as grand a scale as Chernobyl, the crazy huge hordes look scary as fuck. Mostly because they are. There will be fewer moments where you aren't shooting than the alternative. Campaigns with this mod active are absolute lead showers, and if you've got three friends to drag along, you're gonna have a blast lawnmowering the shit out of the undead. You could theoretically play this mode on any difficulty, but I feel that it works best on normal or hard depending on how many human players you have to coordinate with. Expert poses a particular form of impossibility by virtue of the damage output of the zombie. Getting surrounded, which happens constantly, becomes a death sentence. It's better to have a chance than to make your own for nothing, at least in my opinion. The second option you have is a little less about sheer output and more about where that output goes. I call this option the Walking Dead option, and this mod nearly requires that you aim for the head and do not miss. All the special infected have been removed here as well, but the common infected now have the fortitude of a tank. The overall health of the common infected has been tripled from its original value, making them sponges for any weapon that won't tear them limb from limb on its own. The only way to survive from wave to wave and room to room is to blow their fucking heads off. Woo, yeah! I mean that quite literally too. Headshot critical damage has been increased to ensure that accuracy is rewarded as lethally as possible. To give you an extra leg up, the infected have also been slowed down to roughly 30% of their normal speed. Largely, the difficulty of this mode comes from the required precision and the damage that zombies will pummel you with. For these reasons, playing with friends is recommended and expert difficulty is an absolute requirement. Any difficulty lower than that is simply too forgiving with combat damage to pose a great challenge, and the bots may as well be useless considering they almost always aim for the body and that will get you nowhere. Well, not nowhere necessarily. Enough bullets to the chest will kill just about anything, but good luck managing to have enough ammo to go about clearing the campaign without role-playing as Chris Kyle. Regardless of which game mode you choose, vanilla or otherwise, you'll be faced with a fun and cohesive experience to pair with your hike through Chernobyl. To prove it, here's my highlights from my playthrough. In my grand wisdom, I forgot to actually show myself playing this conversion, so here we go. Chernobyl, part one. <laughs> Props to all of those uh, people over there all these people in the corner that have made this this whole thing possible. This is an awesome campaign. I'm playing with the headshot uh, one I mentioned earlier because I wanted to show something. Um, yeah, you can... I'm trying to... Alright, well, you can shoot somebody in the head to kill them with a pistol and it's fine. Chest shots aren't gonna kill anybody, but what's cool is that because the health is raised, you don't have to shoot them in the face if you have a shotgun because they still go down. Fun little game, fun little gameplay cheat you can use if you want to, you know, cheat the system a bit. I think he's dead. I doubt it. What I like about this map is that there's like genuine areas you can get like stuck in and like places zombies can hide. Like over there, they were in that room right there. What is, what is that? Good example of an asset from another game that works well in this context, the Cry of Fear syringe. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, the thing about the shock is that if you're still standing too far away, it's not gonna stop them. Like right there? Okay, bit bad example, but... Sorry. Excuse me, ma'am, have you heard the word of Jesus? I'd like to tell you about the word of Jesus for a moment. Um, this is what a horde looks like in this mode, by the way. Just kind of slow-moving, meandering elderly people coming at you. It's like a sale at a CVS. 
We don't have any more Metformin, please! <laughs> Vacate the premises! Where's your mask, ma'am? I need you to wear a mask. No one's curious and didn't see before. There's the proof right there. I'm playing this on expert, by the way. So if I get pinned, uh, I'm dead. Gonna be a fun time. Now, I was gonna make a Android's Dream of Electric Sheep joke here, but I'm just gonna shoot its deck off instead. I think that's funnier. Oh, 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 oh. Please, please back up. Please back up. I'm asking you politely to back up. <laughs> I care very much about my personal space. Thank you. <laughs> this part is actually really cool. The zombies will drop in from the balcony around you. So you've got to like watch three different like areas there, there and there. And if you don't, this is what happens. <laughs> Giant hordes just at ground level on your ass. Open the door, open the door, open the door. I like how the door has been changed to have uh, Russian on it now. That wasn't always a thing. I like how they changed the door in the game to have Russian on it. Very, very world world building. I like that. And there's normally, yep, there it is. Incendiary ammo. <laughs> Makes this a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> I never picked up my first aid kit. I just realized I never picked up the first aid kit at the start of the game. I could have, I could have been dead a long time ago. Wow. Okay. <laughs> High octane gameplay. Maybe I spoke too soon about automatics. I think this is actually working very well in my favor. Oh shit. Thanks for that. I appreciate that. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Knife! I got a knife! <laughs> what do you have there? A knife! No! <laughs> Ooh, okay, the Magnum is great. I'm gonna tell you right now. I, the Magnum is, is good in this campaign because it's high damage means... Bad example. Okay, another bad example. I was gonna say I can kill things in one shot, but um, I'm starting to think I might have just flat up been wrong there. Ignore the fact that I just missed three shots on that guy. That's not important. Another cool thing about this map. The interactable map elements. Gonna make this ball sack explode. There we go. My kind of game. Oh, that's a horde right there. Uh, let me just kind of help out here. <laughs> Sometimes hordes are um, not scary at all because they are just far enough away that you can do this. Point, shoot, kill. Very fun. Trick. I think the trick here is you gotta close the door and then look in this direction because there's less to load and less to look at. I'm really hoping the game doesn't crash here. <laughs> We're looking good so far. Ah, oh, it crashed. Shit. Oh, damn it. It crashed. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> Just to suffer. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, this is so bad. Oh, God. I gotta save that recording. Hold on. <laughs> well, that was a... Not the, not the best start to show off how good this map is. I don't know why, it's just that part in particular that crashes a lot. I think it's a combination of the fact that I'm recording it, that I have all these mods, some of which, you know, change, you know, the quality of visual effects. Um, and then just the fact that Left 4 Dead 2 is an old ass game that probably wasn't designed to handle things like this. I don't know, I think, I think maybe, I think, think, think maybe it's a combination of all these things. It's definitely not the fault of the map, because it loads fine, like, it plays fine. I just, I have an RX 580, <laughs> I'm behind the times. <laughs> I'm pointing out, I never, I've never once used this take a break option in this game. I have no clue why you would ever do that. It's just shoot the zombies, you'll be fine. Make sure to grab my fucking medkit this time, good lord. If I had died last time, I would've really fucking sucked. <laughs> How's it going? Hi, hi there. <laughs> That is just how people came to your door. <laughs> just guns blazing. Just potentially shooting you in the face if this happened. Good lord. Although I guess you'd be a zombie, so it's forgivable. So I mentioned there's like, uh, ooh, damn. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Yeah, there's like radiation zones you have to cross through, and if you stand in them, you get hurt more. So you gotta run through them real quick. It's really cool. I don't know how they did that. I would love to know the, the programming that went into that. Oh god, Nick is about to die. Um, Nick, Nick, you good? Yep, no, Nick is not good. Nick is not doing it, not having a good time. Oh, shit. <laughs> we need to save this man. Oh, God. You see, this is what I was talking about when I said, if you're not careful, you're gonna die. This, 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 uh, this campaign mode is easily the least forgiving one. That's why I don't like playing with bots. They just do dumb shit, like fall into swimming pools filled with zombies. You'd think it'd be common sense to not do that. Okay. Oop, yep. I just make noises when I play video games. I don't know why I thought doing a commentary bit was going to be smart for this video. 
Life is fun like that. <laughs> Whoa. Slow your roll there, bucko. Uh, I am in a bad spot. I'm falling back. <laughs> Whoa. Talking about skill, I'm just eating dick over here. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, yeah, gun. Oh, I haven't shown you guys the, the pipe bomb yet. I'm gonna have to do that soon. Oh, perfect timing. So you see, when you throw the pipe bomb in the regular game, usually it, it goes off pretty quick. It would have gone off by now. But because the zombies are slower, the mod compensates for their speed by giving it a longer timer. Very, very good attention to detail. I'm wasting a lot of ammo, just blind fu- I'll, I'll stay down here, actually. That's fine. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. We're not even at the end of the level yet. There's like a ton of level left. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Oh, I just- I definitely just down coach right there. Oh, I am- I'm sorry, man. In, in the headcanon of the mission, though, you're an Ada Wong character. You're not necessarily good or bad, so maybe that was the right call. I don't know. I'll, I'll write a fan fiction and we'll, I'll make that okay. <laughs> Another fun part of this, you just throw, throw these out here. That, that thing isn't there. These dynamic map elements change by game, by like, what, by, from game to game. That is so cool. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. I played this campaign like 18 times. Ah, pardon me, just drinking water. i really glad I didn't accidentally just throw that in here. <laughs> that would have killed all of us. Actually, you know what? I'm curious. I'm curious to know. Oh, you literally can't. It doesn't let you throw the bomb in here. That's actually really interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. What do you know? Learn something new every day. Learn something new about a video game from like 10 years ago, every single day. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the flagship, <laughs> the flagship fucking level. The one that's got the infamous... I almost said carousel. That isn't right, though. What is the name of that thing? Uh, pinwheel? Ferris wheel. That's that. That's it. That's it. That's what I was. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, I'm dumb. So what's fun about this map more than I think a lot of things about this map, even though this is this entire map is just great. It's an objective map. So you, you're not just going from door to door. You have to do shit in between. And that is just super fun to me. I don't know why I find that particularly fun. And, uh, including little stuff like that in in between you know the each level it's just fun i don't know i like it it's just it fleshes things out i think i dropped it didn't i yep oh i'm an ammo uh, uh, fuck thank you nick you just saved my fucking life <laughs> god I, this 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 thing is just ridiculous some more high octane gameplay yeah, explosions and a horde <laughs> because it's a Left 4 Dead 2 game. <laughs> a Left 4 Dead 2? What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, this is the only downside of this 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 particular gameplay variation I'm using. Uh, hordes don't attack you as fast, so you can like just clear a space, find a place to hide out, start shooting at them when they show up like this. You got a sniper rifle, there's really no, especially if it's the op, mind you. Uh, there's really no no threat. Uh, you know, see, that's- this is where I need to shut up. That is the scariest fucking thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Oh, hi! <laughs> Quick scope. Pretend that that didn't just happen. Okay, pretend that that didn't just happen either. <laughs> There's a horde coming from this direction. And I'm fairly certain it's below- yep, it was below us. That is terrifying. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, that's, that's when this mod shines. When, when you're in tight quarters and a horde hits you. And if you get caught in it, you're dead. So this is the first instance where the tank, tank boss should spawn. There's an actual custom, custom tank. That's supposed to come out. I thought he was supposed to come off the top of the building. But I think... I think he may actually not spawn this time. Well, oh wait, nope, they just called out a tank. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He came from behind. The fun thing about this map is that the headshots still work on regular bosses. This guy's not a regular boss. <laughs> not only is he not a regular boss, he's actually tougher than a regular tank, I'm fairly certain. He is one-shotting the hell out of my team. Oh my god. We're screwed. We're screwed. Okay, we got him. Ooh, ooh, get off me, please. Oh god. 
We only just barely survived that. My god. Look at this tank, though. Really, really cool looking tank. And I, I, I almost wish this was like a, just a mod I could download for just for regular ass tanks. That could be a lot of fun. So now this part of the map is another part of the challenge sections. Because you gotta, what you gotta do is find three pieces of paper that explain what the code is to a door that takes you down to the next part of the map. And I think, I don't know off the top of my head if it's possible, but I think you don't need to actually pick them up. I wouldn't be surprised if you could just do the puzzle if you knew what the combination was and it would work, but I don't know the code, so I gotta go find the sheets of paper. Okay. They've gotta be, up. Oh, there's one of them. Okay, so they look like this. They're in, there are three of them and they're in different spots. The spawn locations can change. This is something, that's something I already knew that could happen. They're not always gonna be in the same spots, so you gotta look around. Normally uh, on the first floor in that back area I was in, um, I was in over there. That would normally have one, but it didn't this time. So you gotta hunt for them, like a scavenger hunt. A really fucking depraved, irradiated scavenger hunt. So we got all three pieces. All we've got to do now is come over this way and then remove the infected from our path. That would be a smart idea. And there's some in here too, that's cool. All right. Oh yes, he's there, optional, find note. You don't have to find the notes, you can just guess it. But uh, if you find them, it's a hell of a lot easier. So you gotta put that one there. You gotta put the straight line on this one. That one, that the, the tall one. And then you gotta do the jagged lines here, which is set, we're all set, cool. This appears to be random, actually. This isn't the same as what it was last time, I don't think. Maybe it was? Uh, that, that could be random, actually. Which would be interesting, because if that was random, it makes guessing that even harder. I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith fell down an open manhole? He was unconscious down there for like a week. During that time, unbeknownst to Keith, they paved over him. Keith had to- Sweetie, I normally like your stories, I do, but not now, okay? Okay. Come on, Rochelle, I was, I was interested to see where that story goes. What did Keith have to do? It's not fair. I don't know how scary the regular zombie models in this game look. It's the eyes, the, the mouth. I almost shot Rochelle in the face right there. That would have been really, really bad. Oh my god. This gun would down her in a single shot. It down anybody in a single shot if it was a headshot. That is bad. Pretty sure it doesn't help that the critical headshot probably applies to humans as well. You know, I'm gonna test something. No, I'm not. This is, a. Uh, <laughs> we're getting into the part of the map that I accidentally forgot to record the first time I reviewed this map. This is the part where I said the map was alive. Yeah, the map is just dead ass alive. <laughs> There's mutated Zerg shit everywhere. And I honestly kind of wish now that I had bothered to put a Kerrigan model in here for one of the characters. That is fucking, ah, misside, a misstep on my part. Where the f- oh, okay, you just stumbled off the edge. I get it. It happens. <laughs> Bro, you ever get infected with a zombie virus and fall off a ledge? Dude, so relatable. <laughs> Tank Slayer. How did I not do the most damage? I literally have an anti-material rifle. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things. You spawn into a world and then the AI is just like, shoot through the door, shoot through the door. This is zombies, just keep shooting. <laughs> I don't blame them, and I would too, but like, <laughs> goddamn. Very eager people. You know, I guess I'd rather have eager teammates than shit do nothing teammates, so yeah, could be worse. Are we in the last We are on the last mission, what do you know? This uh This this, this campaign is long, but it, it flies by pretty quick when you're enjoying it. Oh, you know what? You know, maybe I need to learn how to enjoy things better. Quick rant. Why why doesn't Disney make more 2D films? They make a ton of money and people respect them. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I fucking loved Soul, and I love Moana, and I, I think Frozen is... Okay, that's a bad example, but... Yeah. <laughs> so this is... This part is fun. I'm pretty sure tanks can still spawn here. This is a boss area, more or less. Uh, you've got to defend a door. Giant, a giant fucking door. Uh, while, why is Rochelle at 60? What happened to Rochelle? Oh, whatever. You have to defend this giant door down here. Uh, while it opens. Oh, we have to start the generator's power, too. I completely forgot about that word. <sighs> I just 
I just missed, flat out missed a point blank shot and then overcorrected a second point blank shot and missed that one too. I. I'm bad at video games, man. Oh, I gotta activate the door. I'm standing here waiting for the hordes to start, to start spawning, and I was like, well, why is nothing happening? Because I, I haven't queued them to spawn, that's why. Come on, come out. Oh, I'm gonna come around this corner. Who comes around that corner? I got him. Oh, uh, oh, I got these guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. Whoa. Fuck me. Let's give me a reach around next time. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We are so scattered right now. Oh, yep. Proof right there. Proof right there that we are way too scattered at this moment. <laughs> Maybe I should have done the easier part. I forgot that I'm playing this on expert. So that dying is like irreversible. <laughs> Well, I mean, dying is always irreversible, but you know, somehow I've managed to go through this entire most of this campaign just not talking about the fact that the radiation around Chernobyl and, and in Pripyat is so high that there are like mutated species of fish and deer, like elk and stuff, and, like giant direwolves that live there now. It is, it is a hellhole, man. It is crazy. Oh God, Nick and Nick and Coach are gonna die. That's fun. I just shot Rochelle. Look how just horrifying this part of the mission is. Just this, this, this just, this just surrounding is just scary as hell. Man, he died quick. <laughs> wow, there are a lot of zombies up there. I guess my game is starting to chug. Yikes, this is uh, a lot more zombies than I had counted on. This is not good. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, I made yet another mistake. I think it was actually better to stay up there. Move this way, boys. I'm, I'm, I'm clipping through them, man. There's just too many to fucking stop. There's so many zombies. I think I shot through that one and he didn't die. That is a scary thought. We're in some deep shit if another big horde hits us. We need to move forward to get ammo. Because I'm still rocking fine. But if if they get pinned, they're dead with just the pistols. Okay, right, come on. I'm going to try to draw them out this way. I have a pipe bomb. What am I doing? I have a fucking pipe bomb. I should have thrown that like an hour ago. What am I? What is wrong with me? God, Coach and Nick are both down. This is bad. This is really bad. And Rochelle's about to go down. Oh no. I'm so screwed. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Put on some heroic action music. I'm gonna go in and try to save their lives. I'm gonna try to save at least one of them. That's a tank. That's a tank. That's a tank. That is a tank. I'm, you know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to, have to back up here. I'll lay down the covering fire. Coach, get him up quickly, please. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Pick up Rochelle, pick up Rochelle, pick up Rochelle. Pick up Rochelle. Hurry, we need to get going. We need to move. We need to move now. Oh my fucking god, I cannot believe that that just worked. My god, why are there zombies in here? This is the safe room. There shouldn't be zombies in here. Oh my god, this is falling apart. Wait a minute. Why are there zombies in here? Why are there zombies spawning in here? I've never seen this before. Okay, yep, I'm gonna just turn turn those off and then uh, try to save my teammates who are now probably gonna die. Nick is already dead. I didn't even notice that. We're fucked. We're so fucked. So fucked. You're so fucked. Oh god, we are so screwed. Rochelle, can you please pick up coach? Rochelle, please come through with me here. Or at least kill that infected before he hits me. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, I'm getting on this gun. I'm getting on this gun. I need to get on this machine gun. I need to get on the machine gun over here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think. I think we're good. I think we survived. Rest in peace, Nick. Where'd he die? Because he wants to go. He wants to come in. Up. Oh, yep. There he is. You're kind of an asshole, but you were. You were a part of the crew, and that's. That's what's important. Goddamn. There it is, in memory of Nick. May he rest in peace. And uh, that, that's that, that was Chernobyl. I love this map so much. I love playing this map. It's bog standard, regular ass Left 4 Dead, just everything in general. It's at least like an hour long campaign. It's so much fun. It just, it just, it takes itself seriously. It's so good. Anyway, back to me doing the voiceover now, I guess. I don't know. And there's that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video up to this point, if you're still watching. Um, and if you did, I'd really appreciate clicking that like and share button down below. Um, the more this gets out, the more people can see it, the more people can enjoy it, and that means the world to me. 
Uh, I know this video was late. I said that, uh, I said not only in my video, but also on Twitter that I wanted to get this video out before the end of January. That clearly didn't happen. So, um, I'm going to announce now that by the end of February, there will be a second video up, uh, highlighting the beginning of a new series, more or less. Um, I won't release the title of that yet. I won't tell you what I'm doing yet, but there will be a second video this month. Um, my plan is to start populating the channel with more short form stuff, things that I can complete a little bit, a little bit faster. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy that, but I guess I won't know until I get it done, which is the, the real hard part. Um, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, here's the arbitrary screenshot of my videos folder. Like I say, I am thinking about all these videos constantly and trying to work on them whenever I can. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and have a dreadful day.